And how old are we today, Coach? How old are we? Fifth grade? How come everybody picks fifth grade? I don't know. I know, where's our red? It's Friday. I look like the cat in the hat. That's a... Find your partners. Your partners line up across from you. Yeah, it's Kayla. Get it on video. Get it on video. No, don't do that. No. Who else is teaching? Okay, where's your partners? Get across from your partners. My partners. This way. Partner, come on this side. Good job. Right Cut that okay, a drip. We're going to pretend we have Max. You're going to step across the line and toss me a beanbag. And that's what you're going to do with your partner. You're going to step up on the mat and toss the beanbag. Well, why do I have two? You're going to toss one at a time. And then y'all both are going to toss them at the same time. No, you have to step up and toss. Step up, toss. Step up, toss. And y'all keep it going. Toss one, then you're both up, then you're both get down, and then you're both step up, then you're toss the other. I don't like my partner, he's wearing a gator. Why do you like this in my hands every time? Wait! Oh. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Okay, you guys are going to get a little bit of a drop. I love that imaginary mat you got there.
just like a fifth grader. You, they're supposed to be. You have to act like you're in fifth grade, folks. That's our first time, time out. It gets much harder when you change, when it's all kinds of objects and you start throwing away like, across the circle. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Y'all are pretty good at this. Got a little bit of coordinated, a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of coordination. Should make one big circle and throw it, throw it across the circle. <laughs> Look at that. Victoria. 
Okay, stop right here. Let's do it again. Call your class in and all the rest of those cl those two groups and make them sit down right there. Okay, and then demonstrate. Because they're not paying attention, right? Now, watch what she does. Michael's cheating. Did she notice? If you let them hang on to the ropes, they're going to be playing okay. with them. If you do not pass it this semester, you'll have to take it incomplete until you can pass it. I've never had anyone not pass it, though. I've never had anyone not pass it. So, you know, neither did anybody else. I mean, maybe you have one person that's done it. You see how arms, she's got her big arms. Big arms are very important. I don't know that she told us to do that. Yeah, I didn't think we got, you got, you got, you got to learn how to turn. Good job, Philip. Got, got a lot of rotation on those arms. You see how one rope's barely hitting? You want to make sure you hear that, that, yeah, click, click, click. 
If you've got bad turners, you'll never get in. Okay, look, you know how your, your rope's kind of sloppy? Try to get it where it's nice, consistent, because if you go so slow, it, it doesn't, the, you, the timing gets bad. There's a window. You see the window? Do you see the window? There. 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 You gotta jump over the bottom one. Well, there's two different ways to get in. But. Do they understand when they're supposed to go in? Did you teach the class when to go in? One, two, in. I like that. See how the turners are very, very important. Let's see which team gets the first person in. Victoria got in. You see how she turns from her shoulders? That's the way I turn. I make, but you turn from your elbow, and I, that looks really good. It's nice and smooth. Look who got in. She got in. She got in. Did he get it? Almost. But you you got to get in that center. If you are out here, it the rope's too high. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. He got in. He did it. I said I like you, baby. <laughs> so, um, at least AJ, Desi, and Victoria have at least passed. It's seventy percent. Yeah, she made a hundred already, or at ninety. Huh? You got in? Very good. Chanel got in. Yeah, has to hit. Hear that clickety click. You're not hitting it. You're not hitting the ground. Scoot in a little bit, AJ. You can't. You're not like this. Come on. Egg beater. Egg beater. Get one going. See the window, see the window. Okay, okay, hold my camera. <laughs> Okay, don't move your arm. Like that, like that. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That a boy. Hit the floor. There we go. Yeah. 
Wait till your mommy sees this. I'm going to email it to her. You know what the key to that is? Let me show you. Hold my camera. The, hold, the key, guys, look at this for a second. The key to start turning is to get them tight. You see how we start here? And we're going to start like this and then we just move in. Okay. Yeah, if I want to stop, I want to start holding yes. it. Yes, you got to stand very unladylike. Look at her. Okay, get, I need to show you what the test is. She can get up. Yeah, what you do is she gets in and then y'all are going to switch places. So you would start moving this way, she'd start moving this way. You'd end up where she's at, she'd end up where you, and then she would get out. Yeah. No, it, it works. It just, it's a challenge. Uh, I will have the jump ropes out here at 7 o'clock every morning if you want to practice. But I don't think you're going to need it. I think you'll be fine. Let's go. You do? Yes. It's just time in that second row. Who's teaching next class? Me. So y'all gonna be working on double dutch, right? No? We're jump Who's got double dutch on Wednesday? Okay, and then who's got it on Friday? Are you teaching next Friday? No, you're not teaching. No, I teach on Monday. Well, that means some of your kids will be doing tricks, like Victoria. Some of them will still be just trying to do the basic. But I need Gary to show you. Yes. So you got to teach them a, a couple of chants, right? There's a bunch of chants in the dynamic physical education book. Look who's in! Hey, he got it! He got it! Yes, and he got. What a man! Look at that! On the first day of class! He to look cool. You gotta look like you're cool. That was excellent. Have you ever done that before? It's amazing. Michael got in and got out without getting hit by the rope. AJ did it! Woo! Victoria is an expert there. Y'all are doing excellent. I have a very high skilled class. This is the first time you've been a beginner in a long, long time. You see the window? See the window? Yes. Oh, he got in. He just wasn't in the middle. He was too far off to the side. That's when the window is open. Yeah, don't worry. Turn your like say one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yes! She got her first job. Yes! You just didn't quite you just didn't quite get in the middle. You got to get all the way in, dude. But look, your feet's got to get in here. You're way out there. You're just not 
get in there. You gotta miss him. Alonzo's in! Alonzo got in! What, what, don't we have basketball? Individual ball drills. But we could, we could just cut a little bit of okay. that fun drill. Do a little bit. If they get bored, we move on. But. Yeah. Okay, let me go tell them what the skills test is. Okay. If, if you've got it, let's practice our skills test. What you do is once the person gets in, then you all have to switch positions. So you would start moving this way, you would move that way until you end up in, in the opposite positions. Then the person has to do one trick of anything they want to do, touch the floor, turn around, pat their head, whatever, and then get out, and that's 100%. Yes. You've, you've already passed. It's just trying to make 100. Yeah. You know, it, it's helpful if you can stay like on a line when you, that way you won't wander. That was good. That was funky, to say the least. Very funky. And when you jump in, get right there. I don't think I've ever had a class this successful on the first day. Ever. Bye bye. You already didn't have all the equipment and stuff based on the I can play. It'll be in the closet in there. I need to get it. Seven thirty. That's what I said. Go there. That'll be your. It only takes a few minutes. It won't even take you that much. Who's teaching with you? Well, why don't you get her to get up? You take it. But I like to. Yeah, I would, but yeah, just get right after class, just run over here. But, uh, and she probably will have all the stuff out here. You just have to decide where you want it. Will you let us know before we set up who we're teaching first? Okay. Yeah, that morning. As soon as you get here. Okay. He did it. Gotta hear that click, click. Just tell me when we start together. Tell me when we do Oh, we start off far like this. Okay. Yeah, look, yeah. She needs to get in all the way at the line. Get in all the way close. Oh, look at those good turners there. They've got it. Listen to the sound. She did it! She got in! Brennan, can you still jump rope? You have to go try. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. <laughs> 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 Y'all
look like fifth graders, I swear. <laughs> He don't change his style. He's like, he's once he's crazy. comfortable, he don't stand up or nothing. No, he just. <laughs> oh, he's a character. <laughs> Yeah, run around the racetrack. Uh, we're going to have fun next semester, folks. This is so smooth. Look at Philip there, he's Harlan Grove Globetrotter. And Drew has his inner child today. Yes, you give a kid a ball. That's what they're going to do. Yep.
Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Drew got put in timeout. Drew, you want to pet practice with your basketballs? I think we need to be able to uh, juggle regular balls before you can do basketballs. But Drew's got that down. He, he needs to be challenged. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, if you're doing basketballs, don't get too close to anybody else because you're going to hit them. Grace had it going. She's got it going, and she's a feet person. What we got to do with Grace is make her dribble a, a soccer ball and juggle at the same time, huh? Yeah, yeah we... Yeah. All right, I'll be ready. I'll find you Be loud, be loud. You get to try as many times as you need to. Set. Go. AJ still going over there. Ready? Yep. Throw it up a little higher above the mat. It, it, that way you've got a little more time for it to come down. That's it. Where's my training? If you watch some of our YouTube videos, you see some of my students doing that. They can actually do it with basketballs. But you know, you crawl before you walk. But the tennis balls, I think, will work pretty good. Softballs work too. I have some softballs in the closet. <laughs> 